Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Reeby, Principal of Vanderveer Elementary School. And I'm Dr. Tian, Superintendent of Schools. We are so excited to welcome everyone to our Vanderveer Evening Learning Academy. You are all in for weeks and weeks of enjoyment. You will be learning alongside your very own Vanderveer teachers. Also, we have teachers and administrators from across the district that will be bringing you fun learning experiences. You will become scientists, engineers, mathematicians, writers, world explorers, and learn to communicate in different languages as you explore concepts in math, reading, writing, science, social studies, world language, and so many more. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and we encourage you to visit often and view other lessons in our learning library as we add to the videos each week. Enjoy! Enjoy. It's so easy with Mrs. Mack. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Mack. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Vanderveer, but one of the things that I really love to do is get creative. And one of the creative things that I've always liked to do is sew. Ever since I was young, I always loved to sew. And I learned how to make some things, how to put things together just with a needle and thread. And so today I'd like to share that with you. So what you'll need is a needle, some thread, and some fabric. That's it. Maybe you have some felt at home from the craft store. If you do, if you have one whole piece and even a scrap of another color, that will work for what we're going to put together today. Maybe you don't have any fabric, but maybe you have some spare socks. What? Everybody seems to have some spare socks around. There always seem to be socks that are disappearing in the dryer. So if you have spare socks, you can practice on those. What do you think of that? You can even sew some buttons and make it into a face like a puppet. But today, we're starting with the basics, a needle and thread, and you and me and us creating something new together. Take a look while I show you my materials. These are some things that I have in my sewing kit. I have a pair of scissors. I have all this thread. You might be wondering, why all that thread? Well, it's a good idea to match up your thread as close as you can to the color of whatever you're sewing so that your stitches don't show. Does anybody know what these are? That's right, they're needles. They do the job of sewing. So I have thread, I have needles. I even have a special tool called a needle threader, and I'll show you how to use that to thread a needle if you'd like to, or you can try without it. We'll see how you do. This, does anybody know what this is? It looks like a little hat for my finger. This is called a thimble. I can wear it on my finger while I sew and make sure that I don't stick my finger with the needle. So it's something that's there to protect it. And then I have this as well. I use this for measuring. Does anybody know what this is called? It's similar to a ruler, but it's actually called a measuring tape. So before we do anything else, I want you to think about what you have around where you live that has been sewn together. What's made of fabric? What's something that you put on or that you snuggle with or that you lay your head on or that you look at that 
Someone has sewn together with thread. I would like to give you a minute to run around your home and look for something. See if there's something squishy and cuddly, maybe something on your bed. See if you can find that. Okay, so for this project, you'll need two different colors. Okay, I've chosen to use this and I have a piece that I've already done some crafts with that's this blue color. So I folded this over. I just folded the end up. And then I want it to be about in thirds. So one part folds up and the other part folds down and goes all the way to the bottom like that, okay? Here's what I'm going to sew. I am going to sew this line right here, and I'm going to sew this line right here, and that's it, okay? I'm gonna get a little more fancy after, but that's what I'm going to do to make this little pouch that I'm going to use to hold some things. So I had my thread with me all the way along, and I'm going to cut it here. You could add a little bit more just to make sure it's long enough. And there I go. I snipped the end. Now I need a needle. Okay. There are two ways I could do this. I'm going to try to be really clever and see if I can get this piece of thread through the eye of this needle. Hmm, who thinks I can do it? Some of you do think I could do it. Who thinks they could do it? All right, you'll have your chance to try after. Let's see how I do. <gasps> Drum roll, please. Nope, not yet. Sometimes it looks like it's going and then it doesn't. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. I think it went, I think it did, it did, look at that. And then I hold on to it. I wanna make sure that the thread doesn't come out on the other end. So I want to match up my two ends of the thread. And I am going to make a knot. There are a lot of things that go into sewing, right? So now I have to make a knot. I'm going to hold on to this end and I'm going to wrap this around my finger. And now I'm going to slip that off the end of my finger and tuck it through the middle. And then I am going to pull it closed. Ta-da! Now I'm going to see if I can make another knot right on top of that because I don't want it to slip out. There it goes. I am gonna go ahead and do a third knot. I know that sounds crazy. But now I know for sure it will not slip through my fabric. And now I have a nice big knot that will not slip through my fabric and I will be able to sew. Now don't worry if you were not able to get that through the needle, you can also use the needle threader. Let's see if I can do it faster with a needle threader. Hmm. Here's my needle threader. How is that possible? Well, I'm going to pinch this with my fingers and I'm going to see if I can do it now, even though it looks like it's bigger. Ah, I got lucky that time. It went right in. Now, look at that. The needle is suspended, it's hanging down. Okay, 
Now I take my thread. Now this is a different piece of thread. I'm actually going to use the one I already put the knot in. But if you're using your needle threader, you're going to put the thread through the hole in the needle threader. I think it went through. And then pull it out the other side like this. And again, you will have measured or, or made sure that you had at least enough thread to do the whole job. And now I'm going to hold the needle and pull this through. And like magic, it stays. And then I want to pull one end. And then my thread looks like this. And then just like I did before, I would put knots on the end. Okay. So I'd like you to go ahead and try your best to thread your needle. If you need to pause the video while you do that, feel free. And we'll see if this is the right size. I think this will work. Good, okay. So that's what it looks like on this side, okay. All right, now I'm gonna open this back up because I'm not going to sew this part. This is what we can call the flap. This one is the pocket. So here, here I go. So for sewing, I'm going to go up and down through the fabric, okay? I'm going to start, let's see, I'm going to start on this side. I am going to pick this edge up and I wanna hide my thread underneath. So there it is, it's going through. It stopped. It stopped because I made that knot before. If my thread goes all the way through, that means my knot needs to be bigger. And now it's hidden inside this pocket. Okay. Here I go. You want to put your needle then down back through the fabric. Okay. And we're going to go down and through the back. You can see my first stitch. And then back up. If you've never sewn before, then this is a good way to give it a try. And then I'm going to make another stitch down. There it is. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is my piece that I'm using to learn. Up through the back. The back has some stitches showing too, just barely. When I get comfortable with this, I can go a little faster. Some of you, if you have sewn before, you might even know a trick to get this done. If this is comfortable for you, this is how you should keep going. I pulled it a little bit because I wanna make sure that I don't have any bumps. Again, this isn't perfect. It's not the straightest, but that's okay. We're learning. I go back up. I go back down. All right, one more like this, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it even faster. Up. And now I can see it's like a pattern, right? Okay. This time I'm gonna do a trick. Put it down through here. And then instead of going all the way through, I'm gonna poke it back through the back. I'm gonna poke my needle back up. Huh? Look at that. Do you think you could try that? Then we're going to poke it back through the bottom again. Take a look, there it is. 
I'm going to try to keep it nice and straight and I'm going to push it back up again. And then I'm going to do that again. And again, I am getting close to the edge here. Let's see if this looks pretty good from the back. Hey, not bad. See how yours looks too. Okay. Now I am going to put this back through and I am going to try to only go through one layer so that my needle comes out in the middle. Hmm, I almost got it. Let's see. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. I want to make sure this is nice and smooth. It doesn't have a lot of bumps. And I am going to go ahead and make another knot. So I will take this end. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Let's see. There we go. Take this, take my needle and put it right through the middle of my loop. And pull gently. And then I am going to use my finger to stop it, just like if you were making a bow on a present with some, um, with some ribbon or something like that. You want to make sure that you have it staying in the place you want it. And I'm just kind of pinching it down with my finger. And I'm gonna do my third little loop around. This goes over, this goes through, and then I pull it. And I'm using my finger to stop it from coming out. And I think that's good. What do you think? All right. I'm going to snip the end. I have my pouch half done, but in my imagination, I can picture it. I can picture what the other side will be like. Okay, you are going to try to do the other side. I'll sew it, and I'll meet you right back here to see what happens next. It's almost done. Can you believe this? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. My stitches are hidden. I can put all kinds of things in here. I'm going to put my pens in there. I'm going to put my post-it notes in there. If you show up with something like this at school, I'm going to be amazed and so proud of you for giving it a try. All right, so this is just a pouch. I am going to show you one more thing before we go. I want to show you how to sew a button. We're going to put a little decoration on the front of our pouch, okay? So I need this. This is my other fabric. And I was looking around for something that was just the right size. I have this little jar here. So I'm using the lid of my jar, okay? And I am going to use this and trace it onto this blue piece of fabric, this blue piece of felt, okay? So you can use um, a pencil, you can use a pen, you can use a marker. I think I'll use a pen for this. And just like when you trace something at school and you want to make something that is the same size and shape and cut it out, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just tracing around it. Ta-da! And I just take little snips. Sometimes felt can be a little bit harder to cut because it's thick. I want to try to stay right next to the blue line. I don't really want to leave any of that blue on my circle. 
I also, you might have noticed that I went right to the edge of my felt when I made my shape because if I put it all the way in the middle of my felt, then it kind of ruins the rest of it. And it's going to be hard for me to make another project with this piece of felt. This way, when I do it this way, I can, there I go. I have a circle now. It's not perfect. It's got some funny edges, but that's okay. The other side of it looks really good because there's no ink on it. And now look at that. I hardly wasted anything, just those little pieces, and I still have all this so I can make another project. Okay, what is she going to do with that? She's gonna decorate her pouch. That's what Mrs. Mac is doing. Okay, I'm going to put my circle right here. On top of that, I'm going to put a button. All right, I want to find the middle of my pouch. There are two ways I can do that. I can either fold the two ends and then mark where that middle is when I open it back up and do this, or I could measure it. I'm gonna do it this way, but you might want to measure to make sure it's the center. All right. I'm going to put my needle and thread a different color this time. I'm going to put it through the back here. Up through one of the holes in the button. There are a couple different ways you can sew a button, but I'm going to show you this way where you go up and down through the buttonholes on one side. There we go. And I'm going to do this up and down and up and down a couple of times. Let's say I'll do it three times. That was twice. And you you start to get used to this when you've done it a while. But if you have to or you want to, you can look at the back and then aim for that same place where you went through before. And I missed. But that's okay. And it's okay if you miss too. All right. I'm sewing a button. So button sewing is something that uh, is good to be able to do. If a button falls off something that you have if you have a shirt or a jacket or something that is missing a button you can um you can sew it back on like this okay it takes some practice because um sometimes it's in a place where you can't see and uh, on the other side, just like this right now, I'm kind of going back and forth through one side. All right, and now you can see I have some stitches back here. I am going to dig in under those stitches so that I have a place to hide my knot. I'm gonna go ahead and make a knot right here. And another knot. And I'm going to do a third knot because I told you before three was a good number. Let's do three again. Okay. And now I'm going to snip this. Pinch sideways. And then I'm going to feel for where the middle is and I'm going to snip.
go. I'm going to snip it a little bit more. And I'm not exactly in the middle, so I'm going to snip a little bit more this way. And now, dun da da da. <gasps> Look at that. It's closed. I won't lose everything. But here's what this circle's for. I am going to cut, I'm gonna fold this in half. And I'm going to make a snip here. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, if you like yours the way it is. And snip over here. And I am going to put that right there. How fun is that? I think it's kind of fun. You could always put some stitches behind here to hold it in its place. You can open this up and close it again. You could even switch out what shapes you want to have on the front. Pretty cute. You could even make a really big version of this, put a strap on it and use it as a bag. So there it is, my little pouch. It's kind of cute, right? I hope you had some fun sewing. Now that you know how to make stitches with sewing with a needle and thread, you can put anything together with that has fabric. Um, you can make a pillow. You can fix something that's ripped. You can sew a button. You could make something like this and switch it out. You could open this up and store your pens and pencils and post-it notes in there. Or you could get really creative and make whatever you want. So I hope you had some fun. I hope you learned just the basics of sewing. That was all I wanted to show you for now. Um, if anybody makes something and they want to share it with me, you can send it to me in an email. I would love to see it. I would love to see pictures of what you've made or pictures of you sewing. Um, I love creative projects and I love teaching kids and I would just be so happy to see what I've inspired you to make. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed watching me and I hope you learned something and that you get to use these skills too. Bye everybody, have a great day.